Hello to the World's Council uh, news show from Germany to the rest of the world. United States are the, have the biggest brains of the world and the highest IQs concerning uh, technical things. Think about iPhone, think about, uh, yes, think about uh, uh, Windows, think about Facebook, Google, and so on. Also, US, United States are the number one, one, one in the world concerning technical things. Scientific things, Germany is still first. There, there we have the uh, World Council and the next scientists for future who developed, uh, who are the next after Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace. And the problem is that science is not deci deciding or not the this thing that decides what happens in the world. The problem is science, how uh, politics should be done, must be understood by others because scientists are not the politicians. Yes, and so we have this, this, uh, this problem. Germany has in average, the, 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 in a, the average uh, brain of the Germans is too small to understand that science, the top of the science, not the pseudo-science of the universities, the top science, the next scientist for future, the World Council and so on, uh, that they have the right reforms, 20 reforms for the politicians that the people don't understand. Yeah, and so we have this problem. And to the political situation here, here our today's things here, Germany has to leave the EU, the, uh, the, has to leave European Union hmm. or only res way to, to for rescuing uh, Europe is Fridays for Future plus a party, a German party, a new party, we 2020, we 2020 uh, plus the Corona C Committee of Germany and the next scientist for future. Yes, this is the solution because Fridays for Future or the party or the Corona com Committee would have enough uh, possibilities to bring in the, uh, the bring into the a European discussion, the discussion about next scientists for future reforms. Yes, but what happens if if uh, the rest of Europe does not uh, kick out Germany? The same will happen with uh, what happened with Great Britain. The Great Britons understand, oh, those Germans have gone crazy once again. <laughs> and uh, we must uh, leave this sinking ship. Yeah? And uh, Germany will ruin all, uh, all Europe. And so we go. Yeah, it's better to work together as Great Britain with the United States and not with the crazy Germans. With the with with the Germans with the small brains. Yeah, yeah and so uh, we have a problem uh, that uh, 
because either Hungary, Hungary, and Poland, and Czech Republic, and so on, uh, leave Europe, or and Austria too. And so rescue themselves or save themselves or they must kick out Germany because Germany is the biggest problem in Europe. Yeah, the brains are so small that they uh, not only say, oh, we must help everybody in the world and we must rescue and save everyone who uh, has uh, who wants help in the world they make a mistake they, they try to do it really and this means that uh, that they don't care about how big the brains of the people are that they put into into Europe they don't care they live in the air in the arrow that every brain is as good as the other one. They don't distinguish between dot uh, zero dot nine liters brains and two liter brains. For them, it's all the same. And so they get, maybe they get a lot of uh, small brains uh, into uh, in, uh, inside of Europe, and so Europe will die. So I said, and I think this is the truth. Germany is dead, and there is only the question. Uh, and Germany is dead, but doesn't know it because it takes a little, some time. Till it, uh, uh, till uh, Germany uh, will have the same uh, fate as the Roman Empire, and must go the same way as the, the, the Roman Empire. It will take some time. Dying out uh, takes a takes a lot of time sometimes. So Germany is dead, and there is only one question. Either. Everybody f should follow the the example of the, uh, the of Great Britain and leave the EU and leave Germany alone and leave the, uh, let them die alone, or they must kick out uh, uh, kick out Germany and make the EU without Germany. Maybe then they can survive. Yeah, maybe. Um, yes, so enough for today. Tomorrow it will be longer because tomorrow I will start with the English uh, talk show, uh, with the English uh, news show, and uh, after uh, and uh, the German show will be second, and so I will have to say more in English. So. Try to rescue the rest of the world because if Europe dies, that doesn't mean that the rest of the world will be happy. The rest of the world will be unhappy as before and not as before, will get more unhappy. The, the, the United States citizens will, will live with. 600 pounds of weight, body weight, 700 pounds, 800 pounds, they will die very young, they will suffer whole life long, they will never have fun in life. Oh, I forgot something, here, here it has to be. So, here we have it. Uh, no, this is not the right way here, it must be like this, yes. I think now you see it quite good. Yes, so uh, let's say this uh, 
was the most important scientific idea for the rest of the world now. So don't uh, don't kill yourself too. Europe is a, Germany is dead, and if Germany is not kicked out, Europe is dead. Take care uh, that the rest of the world doesn't suffer suffer for centuries, for thousands of years, for millions of uh, hundred thousand of years. If you don't uh, don't hear, if you de don't understand the reforms of the next uh, scientists for future, you cannot understand them completely, uh, but um, because uh, it's too difficult for you. But if you, as long as you don't understand that the reforms are the only chance for a happy life or living, then you will end in a circulus, uh, circulus viciosus, circulus viciosus, circle, in a, in, a, in, a, in a spiral, spiral, I don't know, spiral, uh, of uh, of growing unhappiness and sickness and illness and so on yeah so do the right thing care for next scientist for future dot de one word so enough for today tomorrow more